Hi, I'm Sheila Mason. Um, I'm a farmer's daughter. Uh, I was brought up here. Uh, it's a Hupland Hill farm. Uh, at the farmyard, it's about 850 feet. It runs up to about 1300 feet on the tops. Uh, at the moment, we've just uh, started lambing the Zwarble, uh, the Zwarble yet sheep. And because it's so cold outside, they're mainly what inside in pens. And we're going to have a look through them, and I'll just uh, show you which. Uh, which have arrived and one or two are having problems and, and such like. We've just delivered uh, some lambs before so you can see the new ones, they are actually drying up now. And uh, we've kept them in because it's so cold outside and there's very little uh, new grass. So they are a lot better just bedded up and kept warm. Well, with the warble lambs which are born inside, uh, we have cameras on the pen so through the night I'll flick it on a few times through the night and uh, if there's any new arrivals I like to get up and get them penned into separate pens and by morning they've up, they suckle, they usually uh, spray the navels, uh, give them a little bit of colostrum and then by morning they're absolutely fine. Uh, with the When we start with the Swaledales on the 20th of March that's quite a different uh, procedure because they all lamb outside so obviously if it's a really wet bad night I'm wondering what we're going to find in the morning whether it's going to be absolute devastation or how well they've managed to, to cope with the bad weather and um, so it is two totally different operations really uh, the indoor lambing um, it goes fine you know you can't do much wrong apart from possibly uh, a sheep will end up sitting on one or something like that in a pen which you won't get when they're outside we've all sorts inside here uh, this is a little pen of like what a problem sheep they need a little bit of extra help a bit of extra feed and hay so we're just sort of trying to look after them and then prepare them for lambing really and uh, in the next pen we've got some of the warble sheep they are actually all pedigree sheep these and because the weather's so cold we've lambed them and then we pen them up separately for a few days so that they know which the lambs are because obviously they all look the same even to myself who's used to them it, it would be hard to distinguish so we pen them up each sheep has a two lambs or three lambs uh, together and uh, we'll give them a few days and then we'll put them into a larger pen where they'll all race around together when they become more confident and um, we have to make sure there's plenty of bedding water nuts and hay so we're popping in you know three or four times a day just to check they've all got everything they need this is a set of twins that are a couple of days old and we have a set of triplets here and unfortunately she only had one teat working which we found out after they'd been arrived so i come th three times a day and just top them up with bottle and uh, they're a little bit friendlier because they used to be bottle fed and they'll nibble your fingers and and such like so they're a little bit more uh, the more ca more characters really uh, but she is managing to, to keep them going uh, but we are giving them a little bit of supplementary feed and then it, uh, the next pen with another set of twins there that I think they were born the day before they're almost ready to go into a large batch where they can chase about and start playing king of the castle and things and some younger ones across here which have just came in last night what we've got down here, uh, this yow gave birth about an hour ago and she'd been scanned just to have one uh, lamb and we had an orphan lamb which desperately needed its own mother and uh, so what we, we did, we as quickly as we could, we transferred the orphan lamb in with the single that had just arrived and we put quite a bit of uh, the uh, lambing debris really onto her, rubbed it all around and we've helped her to suckle the sheep and gradually she'll start accepting it as her own and obviously it'll do an awful lot better if it's got its own mum and at the moment she, she's butting it and then she's licking it so she's a little bit unsure but it'll not be long before she's accepted it as her own lamb This is Jock, he's 10 weeks old and uh, my cousin rang the other day and he said I've saved your puppy uh, from my litter and he brought him the following day and he's so lovely he's, he's so confident likes to be out he's had lots of experience already so I hope he'll be a future good worker for us on the farm